Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, please remember about our giveaway. Uh, we will announce the winner on Wednesday. Uh, to participate, please subscribe and uh, or be a subscriber and leave a comment answering question. When do you think the fall expansion will hit? Uh, uh, you've got fall, so that means there's like three months, but there's also uh, an in between, like the start, the end, the middle, um, so on and so forth. So um, uh, be a participant. Have some fun and uh, have a chance to win a four standard packs of Moons of Elsewhere uh, cards plus a legendary Moons of Elsewhere pack. Uh, what that means is after this giveaway we will have one final giveaway and that's it. We're out of codes. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more. Uh, depends on, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll talk to CVH and... Uh, uh, we'll get some more sponsorship, perhaps, or I don't know, maybe we'll see some more uh, card reveals for the new expansion. So, um, today we are having fun with an interesting deck. It has been submitted by Igor Faraz Albertini. Uh, it's called the True Hiking, and it's a fun deck to play. It's, it's almost an entirely Nord deck, uh, it revolves around training grounds, and the True Hiking. Ulfric Stormcloak, oh wait, it has been cut, poor Ulfric. Okay, so Ulfric Stormcloak, breakthrough, when you play a shout, draw a random Nord from your deck. Um, you've got Market Bannerman, Triumphant Yarl, uh, and uh, Ward Wall combined with Call of Valor. So that is um, one of the uh, cool combos that you can pull off with this stack and if you've got training grounds or divine fervors uh, they're gonna get buffed uh, because call of valor summons a 3-3 sovereign guard hero sovereign guard heroes are actually nords even though they are spirits maybe they are nords plus spirits creature type uh, but they are nords nonetheless and they will benefit from training grounds uh, a lot <laughs> Um, we also have a couple of shenanigans. Let's go quickly over the deck. We've got Elixir of Vitality, Relentless Raider, uh, Ward Wall, Circle Initiate, Protector of the Innocent, Rift Thane, Stormcloak Vanguard, Vivixidic Pilgrim, Call of Valor, Crusader's Assault, Forward Camp, Lal Sharpshooter, Raiding Party, Stormcloak Camp, uh, Candleheart Brawler, Greybeard Mentor, Training Grounds, Ulfric Housecall, uh, Divine Fervor, Marketh Bannerman, Ulf, uh, Ulfric Stormcloak, and Triumphant Yarl. Uh, the cooler other combos are with Forward Camp, Training Grounds, Divine Fervors. Uh, multiple Forward Camps will uh, basically just fill the board with East March Crusaders, which are Nords as well. Uh, Raiding Party, the um, zero cost Nord Firebands are Nords as well. Um, the only creature not being a Nord is the Ward War, and it could play sometimes to your detriment, uh, but being um, being just like two cards in the entire 50 card deck, it's uh, there's a pretty slim chance uh, that the top creature of your deck will be Ward Wall. Um, a great bit of mental helps with drawing of the Call of Valor, and uh, if once you manage to upgrade from the first play with Ward Walls, then you can fill entire lanes with Call of Valor. It's pretty much insane. Um, and that's about it. Oh, Elixir, of, Elixir of Vitality helps you with uh, HP gain plus with the forward camp trigger. Uh, why HP gain? Uh, because of the triumph. Because of the triumph that y'all requires you to have more HP than your opponent. You want to play this aggro uh, um, and maybe mid range depends on the uh, circumstances and what your opponent is playing. I would replace Vivic City Pilgrim with maybe uh, Golden Initiate. However, Vivic City Pilgrim is actually a Nord and um, Golden Initiate is not, is a Deidre creature. So this is the deck, this is how it works. Let's have some fun and see how it goes. Oh, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> on Legends X, if you want to take a look, uh, the deck link will be uh, below. This deck is as easy to play as it is to hunt a red skeever in the snow. Say no to 40 minutes control games. It's win or lose ace up and have as much fun as possible in the process. Don't be a meta slave. <laughs> awesome description by Igor. 
Okay, into our first game, and we're fighting against a battle mage. It's probably mid battle mage. It's full of it everywhere. <laughs> it's mid battle mage. I'll keep it. I will end my turn and see what my opponent is going to spawn. Probably a ward crafter. Or maybe not. Looks like I may be wrong. I'll have to um, to contest. <laughs> it could be Prophecy Battle Mage. I've seen some Prophecy Battle Mages recently, so... Yeah, looks like Prophecy Battle Mage. Or maybe Item Battle Mage. Um, not entirely sure. I will use my Raiding Party. And I will use just one of my... Nord Firebrands, a goodbye Harpy, so I'm forcing my opponent to trade. Either that, or he will lose the creature. Four costs. Ooh, Sentinel Battle Mace. Juicy. Let's see now what we can do. Well, we can play Elixir of Vitality. And we can silence that. We could have played the Nord Firebrand and then um, Crusader's Assault. But having a creature on the board is much better than uh, being with none at the end of your turn, especially if you're fighting against Prophecy Battle Mage. Um, mm. I'll gain some HP and I will be summoning... I could play Greybeard uh, Venta. And next turn, unfortunately, I can't play uh, the Jarl. Never mind, my opponent played it. <laughs> okay. We need to get rid of that, so... I'll trade the... Actually, I'll just uh, destroy the... The scout. And I'll use my Nord Firebrand to deal one damage to the Jarl. And then I'll play my... Crusader's Assault. I will also break a rune. I got six magicka. I can play the, uh, the Crusader's Assault. And uh, let's drop the Circle Initiate as well. Re let's raid her. And let's see what kind of prophecy did we hit. Might be a Javelin. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck in javelin mode. Um, nope. It was not a, a lightning bolt. In case my opponent decides not to trade, I have... Well, I will be having 7 magic and next turn. So 2 Nord Firebrands and uh, probably the Vanguard will be using to trade. Uh, we're forced to play mid-range in this setup. Let's see if we can uh, drain our opponent of cards. We don't have removals, we just have silences. And some guards here and there. The problem, if we don't hit Divine Fervor or... Um, what's it called? The um, Training Grounds then Vivic City Pilgrim will remain at uh, 4 HP which makes it sus highly susceptible to a lightning bolt uh, 
forward cap. Well, I'll try to draw some more cards here. Didn't do any damage. I don't want my uh, opponent's board to be uh, overwhelming at the end of my turn, so... I'll try to deal as less damage as possible until I manage to stabilize. Seems legit. <laughs> that is just high value targets uh, right there in the field lane. It's an excellent scenario for me to play. Uh, never mind. Wanted to play the Nord Fibrens. How do we deal with those? For the training grounds. And I'm gonna play the Candle Hot Brawler. That'll help me deal with that uh, buffed up Crown Quartermaster. It'll die, but it's cool. We've avoided enough damage. That was probably not a good idea. Although... Well, if he hadn't destroyed my Relentless Raider, then uh, at one point... I would have uh, been able to start dealing damage. The problem was... Um, it was a dead creature anyway because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have attacked with it, so he could have spared that resource instead of destroying it. He should have known that I wouldn't have attacked with him. Uh, right now, I'm just clearing up everything, and uh, I'm gonna drop. Let's see. We can drop the Stormcloak Battalion, but we do want more buffed up stuff, so training grounds number two, it's the board. I've got a big hand compared to just two cards representing my opponent's hand. Uh, another afflicted elite. Fortunately, I can't deal with it right now. But I can put a guard, and if it gets buffed, then it will be uh, 1 HP above the opposing card's attack, so it'll survive. <laughs> Gonna drop the uh, so-called battalion as well, and the old fricks up uh, house guard, so I can start drawing more cards. If I fall into, uh, we'll start breaking runes and uh, play prophecies. He'll probably want to do it in the shadow lane because the field lane is basically a no zone. I can trade easily. Okay. Let's use the Crusader's assault here. Draw some stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Double forward cam. This is gonna be epic. And because uh, the forward cam reduces the uh, support costs, I will be left with just three magic up after two forward camps play uh, plays, and um, I'll just be able to play the low sharpshoot and deal with the uh, with the orc there. Do I want to attack? No. <laughs> I'm already at my card limit. Reva. It wasn't a prophecy. Okay. So there's two prophecies that my opponent can play. But it's uh it's pretty elementary that uh two lightning bolts is gonna be pretty difficult to achieve. Uh Sorry, three lightning bolts. Let's start dealing damage. 
Okay. <laughs> That's one lightning bolt. And game over. Nice. <laughs> it is a fun deck to play. <laughs> Ego was right. <laughs> we should play some more with it. See you in the next game. Alright, so uh, finished doing the dishes and uh, we're back to another one. This is uh last game. After this, I'm going to bed. Tomorrow is... Uh, I'm going to have to wake up in the morning. I have some important stuff to do at work. So let's play Elixir. Fighting against a Hulalu. Let's try to win the field lane a bit. Of course I'm on your side. <laughs> a Mournhold Traitor. As long as I draw breath, I can take Let's see if we can trick like you. it. I mean, uh we can do three damage, break a rune, deal one damage from the from the relentless raider. Then I can trade the Relentless Raider into the uh, Mournhold Traitor and then play a Candlehaunt Brawler and destroy the Mournhold Traitor altogether. Uh, and Dreams Ruined. Let's play the Old for Cowskull. Uh, we just drew <coughs> one call of valor. <coughs> Sorry that. Too bad we just hit a javelin. This looks like a mid Halalu list. I mean, you uh, you rarely see people fit uh, javelins in an aggro Halalu. Berserker. It's going to be problematic. I'll deal three damage and I'll try to exalt a Vivic City Pilgrim. I'll see if my opponent has another Javelin in hand. That would be really painful. If he does not, and I can play Divine Fervor and trade with the Mournhold Traitor. Problem still remains with the Berserker. Ouch. Mm. This is not good. Well, since I can't touch the Mohol Traitor, even if I play Canterhold Brawler and... Um, Stormcloak Vanguard. I have to destroy that Varanus Courier, so I'll try to trade in with uh, with the Stormcloak Vanguard into it. And using the four damage from the Vivic City Pilgrim, I'll try to destroy the Berserker. Because after that, uh, the Berserker is gonna get, uh, gonna get buffed uh, plus two plus two and get breakthrough. Not that good. Playing a good mid range. But if my opponent's board starts to get overcrowded, then I uh, don't think we have any, any chance at defeating this lull list. Oh wow. Moonmoth Castellan. Yeah, it's a mid lull list. Seven Magicka. Let's pull another Call of Valor. Now let's play Call of Valor. We can use uh, with eight magic and next turn. We can use Divine Fever and the second Call of Valor to try and uh, render that Shadow Lane 
completely useless. Otherwise, if things start stacking up there, it's going to be pretty difficult to uh, overcome. <laughs> another one hole traitor and another moon moss castle, and that shadow lane looks dreamy. I'm guessing my opponent uh, does not want to uh, to go face because he knows that if my Crusader is aggro, what happens is I can gain the upper hand pretty quickly. Crusader, aggro Crusader usually um, gets under the aggro lull and if this is a mid deck, And he will, probably wants to play it as safe as possible. Three gods, one true oh, that's just too much. <laughs> I need a Crusader's Assault. Pronto. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to trade. Two juicy spirits, Nord spirits, that could have been used to destroy both Morhal traitors. So, the perk of having just one HP extra, that 5 5 messed me up. Now, if the uh, Marcus Bannerman does not get destroyed, I still have a chance at stabilizing. But we could be seeing another javelin. <clears throat> right now, my opponent has an excellent advantage over me. Four cards, five cards in hand. Uh, nine, 13 damage on board, and I'm just left with two cards. Now, if uh, Market Bannerman, as I said, does not get uh, silenced or destroyed, I could be summoning a lot of Nord Fibrons in the next couple of turns, because I can use... Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna give the Rift Thane to my opponent. A mid Alalu playing Gentleman Jim Stacy. Ah, oh, damn it! Silence. Okay. Uh, should have traded backwards. If the trade would have been backwards, like the 5-3 and then the 4-4, four, four, the last 4-4 four, four will still be alive, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're starting to draw another Riftain. And we can play it right now. And my opponent is going to be forced to trade here. Plunder. Interesting. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> he got the big stuff. We need some silence. But I doubt he'll play it and leave it on a creature. Uh, let's play Relentless Raider. Let's see if we can overcome something here. Ooh, well, that is actually good. Opponent is down to 9 HP. I'm going to play the forward camp. Let's just hope my opponent does not uh, use any Dushniks. Well, I just need one more support. I almost
almost gave my opponent an entire full hand. <laughs> that means he's got plenty of options to stop me. But he did need a card, so... It would have been a waste to just um, allow Ulfric Housecarl to, um, to not draw us anything. Just have him sit there like a vegetable. No thanks. Uh, if it's a shackle, it's going to be nasty because right now we can trade. Unless we manage to find Halal Sharpshooter to silence it. We just got another wall. wall. <laughs> well, goodbye, Shadow Lane. Let's try to defend here. We need some cards. And we need them fast. I got another ward wall in hand. That won't help me. I need like another... Maybe another forward camp. I know. Ah, oh, that's just great. <laughs> well, quite a scourge generates curses, which means... I won't be dealing any damage to that feeling. Uh, oh, that's my Rift Thane. <laughs> uh, why did he use that from the beginning? I have no clue. Oh, too bad Crusader's Assault can't play it on the... Sweet roll. Because uh, that won't kill. All I can do is to trade. <laughs> Albeit even the most unfavorable trade ever. <laughs> yeah, so by trading the sweet roll into the Rithane, uh, I also healed the Rithane, so it was basically nothing. I have no other cards in hand. This is bad. <laughs> didn't manage to play to my out there is something that could save me though <clears throat> my opponent going for face I've got plenty of runes if I can benefit from them it will be great if not well I don't know my opponent's both lanes are almost intact like only one creature remains uh, to be added, and it's 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 a full board. <laughs> Vigilant giant, wow! There's no way I can deal with that. Let's see what these give us. Uh, Lol, sharpshooter. Okay. We got nine more Magicka. We need to think of a way to mitigate a lot of damage. Uh, let's play the Lala Sharpshooter and pray that my opponent does not have a Rage in hand. Uh, I'm going to silence the, um, the Puppeteer. Balmora Puppeteer. Uh, let's get Circle Initiate as well. With two Training Grounds and one Divine Fervor, my creatures uh, look pretty good overall. So the, um, the, the East March Crusade, Crusader in the field lane is pretty hard to uh, uh, to maneuver around against it. So, Mentor's Ring. Oh wow. Looks like we're pretty much dead. How much damage does my opponent have? That's enough damage to go for lethal. And my opponent decided not to go for lethal. Now, it's pretty hard to to deal the necessary damage to get 11. 
too bad. I mean, not too bad. I have no clue. Maybe uh, my opponent didn't see it. Or was afraid of prophecies. I have no idea. But by the looks of it right now. That's a curse. By the looks of it right now, I have lethal. And we can uh, get the Candlehawk Brawl out. And let's play Crusader's Assault. My opponent is down to 6 HP. Oh, top deck, Divine Fervor. Uh, I can play Divine Fervor and it's 6 attack and it's game over. <laughs> That was really epic. Managed to deal with entire board led by my opponent. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.